a break to take a walk outside today because it's snowy and beautiful and I totally don't do this enough. It's called Adventures Where You Live, it's still fun. to rearrange the entire apartment. you just saw was me starting the design for the cards on my iPad. This card is going to be a combination of printed and hand lettered, but I wanted to put the lettering in as a placeholder to see how big I needed to make that space. I got a package. Let's pretend I haven't already opened it. I'm sure some of you guys already know what this is and I caved this time guys I caved lately I've actually started wearing a lot more jewelry I used to not I have a very I don't know I would say young face and I'm pretty thin and I'm not super tall so if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup or my hair's not done I feel like I can tend to look a lot younger than I am so wearing jewelry kind of helps me it helps mature me a little bit I'm gonna wear these all day <laughs> been rearranging this space quite a bit lately and I just got the notification that the table and chairs that I'd ordered to go right here have arrived. I think one of the most rewarding things I've done for myself this year is to invest in a space that makes me happy. And I don't just mean invest financially, I mean invest mentally. Taking the time to actually think through the layout, the number and type of furniture items that are filling the space. I obviously loved this apartment before, that's why I chose it. I love the natural light, I love the wood floors, but a lot of people would look at this space and think that it's really small. This apartment is only like 400 square feet, and I think I even had started getting stuck in that sort of a mind trap of like, oh, this is a small apartment, it's limited in that regard. But the cool thing about having limits is they give you restrictions and a place to build creativity from. Last month, I took some time and figured out how I could reorganize the furniture to separate my bedroom from my workspace and also create a kitchen area in addition to the couch. And already, the space feels bigger. There's actually more furniture in this room than there was before, but larger in context of the amount of things you feel like you can do in this room comfortably. A lot of people value their space and like to take care of it. I think I place an exceptionally high priority on how my space looks and feels because I spend the majority of my time here. I urge all of you guys, grab a notebook and see if there's a way you can reorganize the furniture you already have or trade in a couple of pieces in order to make the space function better for you.
So I've done about half of the cards. I'm gonna take a break now because my hand is tired and my pen is tired. Also, I'm very much hoping that I left enough margin for error in these. I kind of forgot when I was ordering the cards that generally you want to order 10 to 15 percent extra in order to allow for mistakes. That is the enthralling adventures of a hand lettering artist for you guys. Oh, also, if you're curious about what marker I'm using to customize all of these cards, it's an acrylic paint marker by the brand Chocola. They did send me a whole range of these colors like a week ago, so it was kind of perfect timing because I needed a white acrylic paint marker to use for this project. So I figured I would test this one out, and so far I really like it. It writes really smooth. The surface that I'm writing on, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it is a little bit glossy, which I think works really nice with this type of pen. 